Labor Department's latest proposal could help gig workers secure a minimum wage, overtime pay, health care, and other rights. So what is a gig worker and what could this new proposal do for them? Brute can explain in less than 60 seconds. The construction and healthcare industries have relied on contract labor for many years, but this gig work is becoming increasingly popular for app-based companies. And while gig workers, freelancers, and contractors can be attracted to this type of work for its flexible schedule and other perks, workers are not guaranteed the same rights and protections as others who reach employee status. The proposal would build on an Obama administration error test used to classify whether someone was a gig worker or employee, where employee status workers would be guaranteed rights and protections under federal law. The current employee status classification test was put in place by the Trump administration. The new proposal is expected to receive backlash from companies that rely heavily on gig workers, with experts predicting the cost of labor will increase 20 to 30 percent for these companies if the proposal is approved.